But the question is not saying, is this factorable? And if it's not, write prime. The question is asking, find the solve this, right? Find the values of x. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we don't just need to find all real numbers by factoring. Factoring gives us, when we factor, we're factoring with real and rational terms, right? But we also need to worry about irrational terms, Japonica, and we also need to worry about complex. So how can we find those, or how those come about? Well, again, let's go and just double check, make sure we can't multiply these, or can't factor this. So factoring, I could do 40 and 1. I could do 2 and 20. I could do um, 10 and 4. I could do 8 and 5. And is that all my factors? Yeah. And I know that they have to add up, but none of these, when I multiply them, are going to be adding up. So how else could we find the value of x? Does anybody remember? We already learned it last chapter. Well, we have a problem. If we subtract 40 to the other side, then you'd have x squared minus 4x equals negative 40. Now, we're, I'm actually going to show you how to do this in a second. But then, yeah, you could factor out an x. But here's where we get stuck, though. Because this times this does not equal negative 40. Now, if that equals 0, we could do something with it, right? But here, it, when it equals four, negative 40, that doesn't help us anyway. So we're, I'm actually going to show you how to do a problem. That's going to be we're actually going to go through that similar, but rather than doing completing the square though, does anybody remember what's another way we could solve? Quadratic formula. Quadratic formula, right? Why do why did we learn the quadratic formula? To learn how to solve equations that are not factorable, right? That's why we use the quadratic formula. We want to find the values of x when we can't factor it. So to make sure we do the quadratic formula, we obviously have to remember the quadratic formula. Opposite of b, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, all over 2 times a. x equals. That is my quadratic in standard form. So I can remember where, where do a, b, and c come from. a, b, and c, remember, or a and b are your, that's great, Wendy. Good job. a and b are your coefficients, and c is your constant. Okay, So what I'm going to look over here is now let's just plug in our values. So opposite of b is going to be now a positive 4, plus or minus, the square root of negative 4 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 40, all divided by 2 times a, which is 1. All right? We can't factor it, so we got to use the quadratic formula. So therefore, we have 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 160 divided by 2. Right? Dylan, right? Yes, Mom, right? Remember doing the quadratic form, practicing it? Huh? And then when you guys notice, when we have 16 minus 160, that's going to give us a negative number, right? Right? Call me dog. So we have 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 144 divided by 2. So what is the square root of negative 144? Well, remember, we write that as 144 times negative 1. The square root of 144 is 12, and the square root of negative 1 is i. Okay, So now the question is, so now we found the roots by using the quadratic formula. Now we need to answer the question. What are the type of roots? Well, we know we need them with i, so we have two complex roots. OK, cool.